Joining us right now is Joe Malyoko, who is the president of Michter's Distillery and its parent company, Chatham Imports. Michter's, by the way, was just voted the world's most admired whiskey by an academy of independent experts. That is the first time that an American whiskey has topped that list. And, Joe, I'm going to start with that, even though um, I've got a lot of other things I want to talk about. That's pretty incredible, the idea that, that an American whiskey topped this list. That's never happened before. How, how, how no, kind of earth-shattering no, no, is it, that? It, it really hasn't, and it's just such a... We, we were thrilled. Um, you know, I'm hoping that it helps the whole American whiskey industry. I mean, every... They, they put a list together of the top five, top 50 most admired whiskeys in the world. Every single one of on the list is great, uh, but this was the first time that an American whiskey uh, was recognized as such. And the voters uh, for this academy uh, were from over 20 countries. So it's truly, truly an international thing. And I'm just hoping that it raises the uh, visibility of American quality all over the uh, world, because the American distillers are friends of the other companies, too, and making great stuff. Well, first of all, congratulations. That's the good news. I guess the bad news is these tariffs are set to resume. You've gotten a two-year uh, brief window. Reprieve. A sure. uh, reprieve on this from these massive tariffs going to the EU. Let's talk about what happened. When the tariffs first went in, whiskey uh, exports to the EU from the United States dropped by how much? 20 percent? 20 percent, yeah. I mean, it, it, it was in uh, 2018 uh, because of the uh, fight over aluminum and steel. The U.S. government had uh, put some tariffs on them. Uh, EU retaliated with a 25 percent tariff on American whiskey. And uh, from 2018 to 2021, American whiskey dropped by 20%. Uh, there was an agreement to suspend the tariffs starting uh, in, in January of 2022. Um, and in 2022, that year, uh, American whiskey rebounded. It was actually up uh, 29% in exports to the EU. Um, and uh, uh, what's happening now, though, is that it was a suspension. It did, was the tariffs weren't you know, uh, eliminated fully. And even worse, um, the tariffs are set to double uh, when they go back into effect. So it'll be a 50 percent tariff on American whiskey exports uh, to the EU. Uh, so just to give you an example, U.S. 1 bourbon, which is a best-selling uh, SKU, uh, the price in France, we estimate, will go from 67 euros uh, on the shelf to 88 euros on the shelf. So that's a sudden 30 percent price increase. So uh, that's a pretty uh, uh, large increase. Now, uh, it seems like people in the industry are hoping and also betting uh, that the suspension will continue, but uh, you know, that remains to be seen, and it's, uh, it's a real concern. Look, I, it's weird to think that the retaliation against aluminum is to go after whiskey, except for that the whiskey business is really big in Kentucky, and that is where Mitch McConnell's from. At the time Absolutely. when this deal, when, they, when these tariffs were, the retaliatory tariffs came back, he was the Senate majority leader. He's the Senate minority leader today. Does anybody care about making sure in, in Congress right now that those tariffs don't hit you as hard? Because this was pretty local politics, even though it was played on a global scale. Yeah, look, I, I, I would hope that Congress cares about it and that the government cares about it. I'm, I'm sure that they do. I mean, you know, the American whiskey business is a very large industry in general, and it's kind of a signature industry for the U.S. Um, uh, bourbon uh, was actually in 1964 declared America's native spirit. So uh, it's symbolic as well as a lot of business. I mean, um, you know, there, there's, there's just tremendous investment and tremendous taxes paid by the American whiskey industry. I, I got to tell you a story, Joe, which is that I was out with a guy who's um, 10 years my senior, and he is a crazier fisherman than I am. And we were out in the pouring rain in Rhode Island fishing. And we got back in, and every part of me was soaked. And I went and changed my clothes, and we went down into the hull of his boat where he lives, and he brought this bottle out, and we had... And I don't ever drink before 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, if I can help it. And... If I can help it. If I can help it. I had to have a drink, and he gave me this, this, this thing. And I'm reading the note I sent him. I said, Alan, would you mind sending me a photograph of that bottle of whiskey we were drinking? It's really delicious, and I can't quite get it out of my head. I guess that was literally and figuratively. And it turned out it was your whiskey. And I had no idea you were coming on this morning. <laughs> so I just want to tell you, it's really quite... I don't have a question, Becky, but it's really quite delicious. <laughs> Thank, I just you. Want to say, Thank I, you so very much. I've never done that before in terms of thinking, like, 
I got to have another bottle of that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, Very John, good. let me ask you one more real quick question before we let you go. Um, we, we had a wine expert who was on earlier this week, and he said, sure. even though people are worried about this, the, the health of the consumer, the strength of the consumer, he said what they've seen is um, wine drinking in restaurants is up significantly. Um, wine drinking at home is far down. Now, obviously, that was COVID stuff when people were drinking at sure. home. Have, have you seen that same trend when it comes to whiskey, though? Because, look, the markup, <laughs> the markup at the restaurants is way more. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's really interesting. You know, COVID obviously really slammed what we call the on-premise channel, uh, restaurants, bars, hotels uh, for spirit sales. But um, uh, they've really come back strong since the uh, pandemic has abated. Uh, National Restaurant Association uh, released some statistics that through October uh, for the past eight months, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, sales in restaurants are up actually 6.4 percent. So that's healthy. And, um, you know, we're seeing a very similar thing in the spirits business as well.